All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I have a couple of TTM returns. It was super slow on the TTM front this week. Um, so we're gonna get right to it. And then I'm going to uh, add on a response video to Carl Topia's 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready and start. So the first TTM return, Comes from an 11 year pro. Uh, played nine seasons with the Chicago Cubs, two seasons with the San Diego Padres. Um, he's most noted for being uh, one of Ron Santos' uh, best friends. Um, this guy didn't hit a ton of home runs. Uh, he was more of an average hitter, uh, 283 batting average, had 1,400 career hits, just about 1,500 actually. So he was about. Halfway to 3000 was a four-time All-Star. He does charge uh, $2 per card, and it was a 14-day return. Um, signed it in ballpoint pen on a 1967 and 1968 Topps card. So here he is, second baseman, Glenn Beckert. Very happy with these returns, uh, especially since he's a Cub and... He's a Cub legend. Was um, won the Gold Glove in '68 and was uh, MVP in uh, or not eight, the MVP, but was ninth in MVP voting after accumulating 189 hits. And uh, what else did he do? <laughs> now I'm blanking. 30, 31 uh, base on balls. Um, uh, had ninety scored ninety eight runs that season, so uh, he had a pretty good year. And the last return comes from the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area. This guy is a TTM Hall of Famer. Everybody's been getting him recently. Uh, played for the Yankees, played for the Athletics, Kansas City Athletics, the Cardinals. Uh, I'm assuming that's the Cardinals and not the St. Louis Browns. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Philadelphia, uh, Phillies, I almost said the A's, uh, the Chicago Cubs, and the Houston Astros. Over 16 years, three-time All-Star, uh, MVP in 1952 when he won 24 games. Yeah, if you haven't guessed who it is yet, uh, here he is. Mr. Bobby Shantz signing 2-2 two two on these great swell cards that Michael Meyer sent me. Um, Thank you, Michael, uh, for hooking me up with these cards. And then uh, sit, and then I sent them off to Bobby Shantz. He returned them in four days. <laughs> four days! It took two days to get up to the Philadelphia area where it was postmarked. And then it was, he got them, signed them, sent them right back out. Amazing. Four days <laughs> on the return. So, Bobby Shane's returns 2 of 2. Glenn Beckert signs uh, 67 and a 68 tops guard for me. Great stuff. And um, so, I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to jump into uh, the uh, some my response video to Mr. Carl Topia. So, I will be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. And this is my response video to Carl Topia um, discussing an era of baseball cards that we we like and you know i would i would have to say that the the early 70s is is one of the era of baseball cards that i really like um late 60s as well um i mean this the nolan ryan's is 77 but uh still it's it's vintage and it's and it's awesome um these uh these guys on these cards are iconic figures um Rick Monday obviously he he's probably most known for um saving the American flag from being burned in the uh the outfield of the Dodger Stadium um back when he played with the Cubs Al Kaline is Mr. Tiger he's a Tiger legend um uh Ernie Banks Mr. Cub like the uh, one of the most recognizable Cubs there are, um, there were. Um, Glenn Beckert, who I discussed uh, minutes ago, 
uh, about uh, uh, getting the TTM return. I mean, he's just uh, he, he's a Cub legend, not known nationally really anymore, but um, he is a, a guy known in Cub circles, Cubs fans. He he signs autographs for Cubs fans. At, at, the Cubs convention and obviously Nolan Ryan. You don't you don't have to discuss Nolan Ryan because he's one of the best pitchers ever. Ever. Um, one day I'll pay his large fee and get get an autograph from from Nolan Ryan. But seventies cards um, are just are just my favorite. Late sixties as well. Uh, I really like really like the simplicity of this, of the designs. Um, and, and the story of these guys, because I wasn't alive during this time, so I've only heard stories about how great, you know, Ernie Banks was. Obviously, you hit 512 home runs. You're a legend. You're a Hall of Famer. Um, Glenn Beckert, uh, obviously, always heard Ron Santo discuss how, how great Glenn Beckert was at second base. I'm sure I got to see them all play. Uh, other than Nolan Ryan, that's he. It's the only one that I got to watch play. Um, was Nolan Ryan when he played with the Rangers? Um, obviously, growing up in Indiana, you don't get a lot of Rangers game except on ESPN or when they're playing the White Sox. Um, so there we go. Uh, hope that uh, hope hope that's uh, um, a good response, Carltopia. Um, I couldn't th I couldn't think of much else to say. I mean, it's just an era that I wish I had grown up in and watched. So thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one.